Hi y'all, I am back with another look today and we're gonna do our moisturizer and we're gonna put it all over our face and get it all hydrated and beautiful. And we are in the month of October and the spooky season, which it is one of my favorite months. And I hope you like this video. And once we're done with our moisturizer, we're gonna go in with our handy dandy Poreless primer. Woohoo! Once we have all that in, and we're gonna conceal all those beautiful pores of ours and get it blurred out as much as we can. And after this step, we're gonna go with our awesome eyeshadow primer, and I'm gonna put that right in my right on my lids. And I'm gonna blend this out off camera, of course, so you don't have to see that boring section. And after this, we're gonna go with our palette and we're gonna go with our purple eyeshadow. And we're gonna have a fluffy brush and we're gonna put that on our lid. And I'm gonna put it above my natural crease, of course. And we're going to blend it all the way out to the outer corner a little bit further than our where our brow hits. We're going to be a little bit farther than that to make it more dramatic and beautiful. And we're just going to smoke it out and make and not have so many harsh creases on it. You don't have to be perfect. It all turn out just as beautiful as we started. Don't forget to subscribe to my to my channel and like this video. Give me a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to share and have a wonderful Halloween month. And once we're done with this um, eye, we're going to go with... I'm going to do my other eye off camera, of course, so you don't have to see the repeat and then boring stuff All right, and we're going to go with our pink, and I'm going to use my finger so I can uh, have that nice pink. You don't have to do, you don't have to use your finger. You can use a flat brush or any brush that you want or you're comfortable with, of course. And we're going to blend it into our purple. And then I'm going to go with my concealer, and I'm going to buff it all out with my beauty blender and once we're done with this I'm gonna go with my foundation and you can do your regular foundation routine you don't have to do the way that I do it of course I'm just gonna put it all over her face and I'm gonna blend it all out with my beauty blender off camera and then after this step I'm gonna go with my concealer I did not put that step on here so just bear with me after this one we're going to put our translucent powder underneath where we put our concealer at so we can brighten up our face and i put it under my eye on my nose on my forehead and on my chin of course you don't have to do this step if you don't want to you do what you feel like you are comfortable with which is going to be totally fine you do your makeup as you as you wish and then we're gonna go with my translucent powder which is more of my skin tone and I'm gonna put it on the places that I don't have my white translucent powder 
And then I'm going to do it all over my face. And then after that step, I'm just going to gently take off my translucent powder. And then we're going to go with our contour. And I have my contour brush. Any brush will do. It's up to what it's up to whatever brush you have and what is available to you. And I'm gonna do it under my cheekbones. And I'm gonna do it under my under my jawline, my nose, and my forehead. And then once we're done with this, I'm gonna go with my blush. Of course, you can use whatever brush blush you want i usually do pink just because of my skin tone and i like how it looks and um once you're done with your blush we're gonna go with our beautiful highlight and whatever highlight you have is perfectly fine i have this one which is the purple highlight which is perfect for my look today and if you don't have this one is totally fine you can use whatever highlight you want I just prefer to do this just so I can get into my Halloween spirit So we're going to go with our eyebrow pencil and we're going to just outline our brow and make it more beautiful. And we're going to do light strokes and then we're going to fill in our brow. And then I'm going to do my other brow off camera so you don't have to see the repeat once again and I did use my little spoolie to brush my brows and take those harsh creases that I had on my brows and then once we're done with this I'm gonna go with my awesome liner and I'm gonna do a thin line of liner which is very odd for me i really like doing my thick liner but i decided to go thin and not make it such a focal point i just i just can't stop myself without having eyeliner it's one of my one of my things that i like to use a lot and then once we're done with this one i'm going to do my other eye off camera And then we're going to go with our handy dandy mascara and I'm just going to put a couple coats on it because I'm going to put my false lashes on off camera. I did not put this on just because I was struggling just a little bit and I didn't want y'all to see that struggle. <laughs> and once we're done with that. I'm going to do my lower lashes with a waterproof mascara. Just to make it safe and not runny for the end of the day that we're doing. And then I'm going to go with my awesome little stick on gems that I bought at Walmart and these was this was from the um, wet and wild fantasy collection once again you don't have to do this but it's one of the witchy looks so I decided to put some little rhinestones and have fun this actually it was mm, a little bit harder to do just because I'm not used to doing this so <laughs> bear with me and I'm going to do my other eyes off camera. And I got this uh, black lipstick multi-purpose duo thing. And we're going to put it on our lips. 
and I'll outline my lips um, in black and did my little corners of my lips in black as well and I'm gonna go with my NX Y I think it's what it's called oh I so totally chop that up but I'm gonna go with um, my purple and I'm gonna do a purple in the very middle as you can see I left a little gap so I can put my purple lipstick right there once again you can do all black if you want to or do a different color of lipstick it's whatever you feel like doing don't forget to subscribe to my video and give me a thumbs up i really love and enjoy doing my videos and i enjoy everyone watching this as much as i do and don't forget to look at my pictures at the very end of this video much love and i will see you on the next one